everybody, I'm Toya. And I'm Robert. And welcome to our Upbeat Moments. And I have been having some upbeat moments this week, lovey. What have you been having? Well, the first upbeat moment was Easter Monday. Why? Well, Easter Monday is always upbeat, a time of hope and joy. And it was also April the 1st and I made my debut as possibly earning a living from a different field of work. Glamour modelling. Yes, well, maybe some of our chums out there have seen my um, April 1st posting. I think most of the world has. <laughs> and there was a wonderful response from Ms Nancy Vane, who was outraged. She was outraged by it. She said, Robert was not wearing a tie. Oh, I love that. No. Let me say to Miss Vane here and any other poster that wondering why I was not wearing a tie, I suggested to my style consultant, Ms Wilcox T, I asked, shall I wear a tie? And my style consultant said, no. No, don't confuse the picture. So the beauty of the picture, because we tried quite a lot of angles to make this work. I mean, some of them were astonishing. I mean, I even tried you posing with your legs together and it just made it obscene. So we went with that classic cello look, which I think is fabulous. I think you look fantastic. You look so well, glowing, I think really sexy. I mean, I was doing the shoot for you and I was thinking, oh, I fancy this man. Well, may I say that the uh, camera person, Ms. Wilcox T, aforementioned style consultant, did have to lift the view, the angle of the camera. Yeah, there was a few kind of comic scenes going on. It was, yeah. it was a lot of fun, it was a lot of fun. And my third upbeat moment was also from Easter Monday, April the 1st, because me and T, little lovey here, went down the garden and we had a tea and a coffee on the lawn. And although not technically the first day of spring, it felt like the first day of spring with the flowers and the blossoms and the sun, it was stunning. It was a very beautiful Easter, very upbeat. I spent most of the four days of Easter chasing squirrels because I do feed our birds, um, which has become a point of law in this country, whether we can or we can't. And um, we've got some exceptionally unintelligent pigeons that need feeding. And the squirrel just steals their food. So I spent a lot of time chasing them. But I've got two upbeat moments. One is when you opened this, which is one of your gifts. Do you want to open it? Hang on, do it on camera, baby. Put your hands close to the camera, there you go. And it's an angel in an egg. <laughs> I just love it. I mean, how eccentric is that? This is stunning. I mean, I think in the USA, you have collectors that get, collect these things. I have not seen an angel in an egg before. I've seen um, babies in an egg, but not angels in an egg. And we often have this debate about the sacredness of the egg. I mean, what comes first, uh, the chicken or the egg? It's as simple as that. So an angel in the egg for me is so extraordinarily symbolic. Then my other upbeat moment is over the weekend, I was able to listen to music. We watched the most phenomenal music documentaries. Um, Hitsville, Motown, James Brown. We never get time to do this. And I had time to listen to music. I never get time to listen to music. And it really was invigorating. I adore Beyonce and Miley Cyrus. You've probably not heard it, Two Most Wanted. I adore it. it blew me away. The, the production, the singing, the writing, everything. Um, but it kind of made me want to paint for you. And there's a theme I've been working on, which is the creation of volcanoes and how volcanoes bring life into planets. And then I added the birth of love, which is lots and lots of hearts. And this was your present on Easter Day. I love this, sweetie. <laughs> so we've had lots of upbeat moments. Yes. So everybody, we will see you for a vintage lunch. We will see you for a vintage Sunday lunch tomorrow, and uh, have a most fantastic rest of your weekend. Very best from Robert and Toya.